In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your iPad to access meetings on Zoom. So here I'm in my classroom and you can see that uh, there's been a link posted to my lesson. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to be asked to launch meeting with Zoom. So you click that and the Zoom app will open. You will need to have downloaded uh, Zoom before you do that. And when you open it up, um, you can see that here it is offering to preview the video. Um, and your teacher will probably want to see you, so it's a good idea to uh, click with video. It will then connect for a few seconds, uh, and then you will see a, a screen that looks like this, where the teacher can wait to let you in. So it's nice to go just a few minutes before the start of the lesson, and you'll be put in a meeting room. You might notice a few security alerts come up here asking for permission. Please do accept all of them because you'll need everything before you continue. So once the lesson is about to start, the teacher will let you in and you will see this happen. It will ask you to uh, join the audio and you always want to click call using internet audio. Once you're in, it's important to note that you should be muted on here. The mute is really important because it will stop uh, lots of you talking over each other at the same time. If you do want to talk to your teacher, you can press the unmute button and then your teacher will be able to hear you speak as well as all your classmates. Sometimes your teacher may tell you that you can stop using your video if you're just working individually, in which case you can press the stop video button if you want to work independently. During the lesson, your teacher may ask you a couple of questions. If you want to see other people, you can switch to gallery view, and this will show everybody in the meeting. You might also want to show your book, in which case you can press switch camera, and then you can use your iPad to show your teacher what you've been doing. If you want to ask a teacher a question, one of the things you could do is click this participants button here, and then choose to raise your hand. That will give an alert to your teacher so they know to help ask you for help. They may also ask you questions at various points in the lesson. You could answer them using these buttons as well. That might be useful if there are lots of you in a class and you will want to ask at once. You can also give your teacher by pressing the more button. You can give a thumbs up or thumbs down or even say that you particularly liked something. During the lesson, your teacher might give, ask you to go into a breakout room. If they do that, you'll see an alert come up on your screen that looks like this. To go into the breakout room, you just press join. You'll then be put in a room with some other students, which your teacher may join. You can press this button marked ask for help if you'd like your teacher to come in and work with you. So you just press invite host and then the teacher can join the breakout room as well to work with you. It may be that the teacher is busy, uh, so they may not be able to come and help you. If the teacher isn't able to come and help you straight away, what you can do is leave the breakout room. So if you press this red leave button here, that will take you back to where your teacher is likely to be and you can ask for help there. After you've asked for help, you can go back into your breakout room by clicking the breakout room button and that will take you back. During the lesson, your teacher may share their screen with you. If they do that, then you will see uh, whatever is on your teacher's screen. They may ask you sometimes to write on their screen. To do that, click the pencil icon, and then you can choose different tools to, for example, say what you think an answer is. Obviously, please only use that with your teacher's permission. If you've accidentally done something, you can press the clear button to remove everything you've done. Do be aware teachers can see who is drawing what. If you're having problems and your teacher can help you, they may ask you to share your screen. To do that, press the share content button and then choose screen. You want to make sure that you've selected Zoom and press start broadcast. Now, everything on your screen is going to be sent to your teacher so they can see what you're doing. At the end of the lesson, the teacher will finish the session by ending the meeting, which will close the Zoom. It will say the host has ended. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please do ask your teachers.